Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the quarter getup to knee pass. This goes in the family of Turkish getup breakdown exercises. The Turkish getup is an excellent exercise that absolutely everybody should be working on. Get-ups are fundamental human action. Getting up off of the ground is key in every sport. It's key in life in general. When you lose your ability to get up off of the ground quickly and effectively, you're essentially starting the aging process. In order to improve athleticism and essentially combat aging, we break down getting up off of the ground with weight into a bunch of small pieces so that you can practice each individual piece and we can ferret out things that might be going wrong with the movement. We start with simple breakdowns and we add them up to get more complex over time. Think of this exercise as the bottom part of a Turkish getup with the hard part, the hip pass, but without the stand up at the top. Get down to the ground any way you want, two sits bones flat on the ground. Our goal here is to lie down with the kettlebell at elbow height. Get down to the ground, we're lying on the ground, one leg straight, one leg bent. The bent leg is opposite of the kettlebell. Kettlebell is at elbow height when your elbow is touching your body. Get close to the bell, shove the L of your hand into the corner, the L of the kettlebell, so that you end up with the proper grip. Other hand reaches up, grab the bell, pull the bell close to you, stabilize to get to position. Now change legs. Elbow is flat on the ground, forearm is vertical. What people tend to do is lay the bell on their body and then they have a hard time. Don't get lazy in this position. Your wrist should be flat. If your wrist is bent, you will notice this gets harder and harder over time. Adjust the bell until you can get your wrist flat. L of the hand to the L of the kettlebell. Other hand out at 45 degrees, press the kettlebell up. Lock out the tricep, hold the tricep lock the entire time. Drive to the shoulder, drive to the elbow, drive to the hand. Lift your hip up. Bring your knee back to the line of your hand and orient up. Now we're gonna get back down. Free hand, find the leg, touch down, sit your hip through, sit hip down. Elbow touch, shoulder touch, shoulder touch, elbow touch. Press to lock out, squeeze your tricep. Do not bend your elbow, that makes everything hard and it's hard on your shoulder. Lock out. Wrist flat, hand at a 45 degree angle. Roll, drive up, elbow on the ground, lift the chest towards the sky, press up to the hand, lift both arms straight, chest towards the sky. Drive up, put your knee back on the ground, all the way back in line with the hand that's on the ground. Orient your body up, keep that tricep locked out. Find the ground, hand touch. Touch the ground, nice and flat. Lift the hip, sit all the way down, elbow touch, shoulder touch, shoulder touch, elbow touch. When you set the weight down, change legs. Other hand, grab the bell, roll it to the side, keep the bell in front of your chest. If you're using a heavy weight, that is key to not ripping your shoulder out of the socket. Turkish getup can be weird to coach because seeing all the sides is hard. We're gonna demonstrate it now with the other side so that my chest will be facing towards the camera. Lay down on the ground. Kettlebell is at the height of your elbow. Get close enough to the bell that you can grab it. With your other hand, reach up and over. Grab your hand, pull the kettlebell up. Forearm is vertical. Do not let the bell rest on your body. Keep your forearm vertical. Elbow all the way down on the ground. Change legs. Bent leg is the same side as the side with the weight. Press to lock out. Squeeze the tricep for the duration of the rep. Other hand out at 45 degrees. 90 degrees, zero degrees, halfway between. 45 degrees, palm faces down. Roll to the side. Drive up to your elbow. Drive up to your hand. 
If you need to get your hand on the corner of the mat, get your hand on the corner of the mat. When you do the knee pass, sometimes you can push your own mat out from underneath you. Lift your hip up in the air, bring the knee back until it is in the same line as the hand. Orient your body upright and then get back down. Free hand, find the leg. Track down till it touches the ground, drift out, palm flat on the ground. Sit all the way through, pause. Straighten both arms all the way. Elbow touch, shoulder touch, shoulder touch, elbow touch. Other hand comes across, grab your bell, change legs, set the bell down with good technique. This is the bottom part of a Turkish getup, focusing on the hard part, the hip pass. We do these breakdown drills forever. Some days you work on the top of the Turkish getup, some days you work on the step back. Working on the middle is hard for people in the beginning. And then working on this transition of the bottom through the hip drop and from the top through the hip drop is hard. Where you put that hand and where you put the knee matters. Your hand out at 45 degrees is key because then your knee can come back to the line of your hand. If you come back too shallow, you will notice it doesn't work very well. When you add in the stand-up portion in future drills, you simply won't be able to stand up effectively. With Turkish get-ups, you start with a lightweight so you can learn the technique and you do a lot of reps to burn it into your brain and to let your brain work through all the things it can do wrong. Over time, you can build up to heavier and heavier weights. When you get to heavier and heavier weights, your structure is forced to be in the right spot. If you're not in the right spot, it simply doesn't work out. So Turkish get-ups are a good way to help people work on the most important things that humans do, getting up off of the ground for the rest of your life.